play I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas, as sung by Gayla Peavy. If you want the letter notes for that, go to letternoteplayer.com. I have them there for you. Let's start with the introduction, and then we'll uh, get into the melody. Now, the introduction, uh, it's a trumpet, fan, trumpet opening, and so I'm going to start up on this octave, and it's going to go D, E, F sharp, G, G, D, D, E, E, B, E, D, 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 D C, D, C, D, D, A, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, G, E, G. Now, you got some triplets in there. sets of triplets and you've got a couple little fill notes in between the D and the G so you just play those quickly and now I'll play it up to tempo so that you can see it and you can finger this like like that or you can start on your thumb and if you can separate those notes it sounds better sounds better than slurring them together. See, it doesn't sound as good. So separate those notes. Now in the left hand, all you've got is G, D, G, G sharp, A, and then G, F sharp, E, D. We play both hands together there. But then I just keep the D right there and let the right hand take this. You can play in both hands if you want. You can go. It sounds a little muddy to get that triplet down here. You can get it a little bit cleaner up here. So I just I just leave the D down there and let it ring out. So you're gonna go G, F sharp, E, D, G, D, G. And then you, you don't want to let this thing go too fast because it'll tend to pick up speed as you go, and you want to keep you want to hold it back as you go. Now here we go with the intro both hands together, and I'll slow it down so that you can see it. Okay, so up to tempo. And you want to make it playful. Now let's get into the uh, melody. D, G, G, D, D, E, B, 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 D. And then crush that C sharp into the D. Then a triplet, G, 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 D, D, E, B, 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 D. Then we go to F sharp, F sharp, F, F sharp, F, F sharp, F, F sharp, F, F sharp, D, E, D, E, 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 F sharp, G, G sharp, A, G, F sharp, E, D. And then we do it again. D, G, there's a pick up here. D, G, G, D, D, E, E, B, B, D. D, F sharp, F sharp. D, E, D, E, D, E, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, G, F sharp, E, D. And then we're into the bridge. Now the bridge takes off with D, E, F, A, D. G straight, or you can put a little ah, uh, A G in there. G G F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E A D E F sharp, G G G B D E F sharp, G A G F sharp, C sharp, E D D. And then we're back into the second verse. Now for the left hand, you're just going to go walk it down from G G F sharp, E D G F sharp, E D D F sharp, G. Now you can finger that on the little finger, back up to the index finger, or you can go to the ring finger. It works better for me to come back up with the ring finger and end on the G on a, with a thumb. Now this one works best for me to do this A, G sharp, A, B, A, F sharp, D, to start on this, this index finger here. And you're, you're going to get that triplet in there. So you've got two triplets in there. And you've got... So both in there. Now I'll slow it down so you can watch it a little slower. And then, then you go on 
to a up to a D. D. Now for the bridge, the left hand is going to jump around G, F, F. It's got, a, it's got a G7 sound in there, so you got G, F, D, B, C, B, A, G, D, G, D, G, C, B, A, G, D, A, D, A, G, A sharp, B, D, A, A, D, D. There's a little pause between each of those A's and the D's right there. Um, now to get this, I'm going to go slowly so that you can see how it fits together. That gets us right into the bridge, through the bridge section, into the second verse, but I'll have to spend a little bit of time each time synchronizing, especially for the bridge section. So we come in at... synchronize it. A, da, 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 da. Then you got a D's together, C, B, and that D comes in with the B, but the B keeps going. So this comes walking down. So it's long, short, long, short, long, and you, meanwhile you got so you got the D's together, or the B, D with the B, and the G with the G. Let me go that again. And then it keeps going down, see? Now this one is tough too because you've got a triplet coming up. And you've got to synchronize that F sharp with the D, with the D pick up here. put those hands together is just take it slowly like that until it starts to click. Up to tempo there we've got the tempo and then we get into the bridge and I'm going to slow it back down so you can see how it comes in we got standing there, I like to slow it back just a little bit, and then come in with the second verse. 
Now, the only way that, uh, that I think it'll come for you in this case is to practice that hand separately and then put the hands together slowly. Now, the bridge is not that tough if you play the melody by itself. See, you've got, you go A, F, A, D, F, E, G, C, E. So you're, you're following the same pattern. You're going F, A, D, E, G, C, D, F, B. So you're, you're playing a three note pattern there. But then you're putting the seventh in on this B minor chord. Or diminished seventh, actually. It's uh, no, it's a it, it's a B minor with a uh, seventh on there. So you've got the you've got you've got when you go from the B to the A G, then we're right into the. See, the right hand will, will flow together for you pretty easily, and then if you put the left hand together. You slow it down, put the left hand. Now there's also a pattern here, and let me show you what it is. It's D, C, B, A, G. Then we go up to the seventh. Go right up to the F. G, F, D, B. So you're playing right down by thirds. G, here's your seventh. G7, G, B, D, F. And we go G, F, D, B. And then we're going to walk it down from C. C, B, A, G. And then we're just going to go back and forth between D and G for a while. D, G, D, G. Then walk down the C again. C, B, A, G. Now we're going to go D to A, D, A, G, then we go back to our standard G, F sharp, E, D, and then we go to A, A, D, D. Now slowly it'll sound like this. Now watch what you've got there again, you've got that G7 center. So, so you're going back and forth between a G7 and a C chord with a, with a, a C major 7. Back to the G. Then we're going to a D chord. in D. You don't want to chord through this uh, section you, because it, it uh, muddies up the thing, it ruins the, the sound of it. You want to keep that bass line going. with the melody for the second verse. I'll take that bridge for you so that you can see it and I'll keep it slow slowly for right now. some you can get it and at some point it's at some point it's probably going to help you to memorize the both hands separately so that you've got them in your head see here's your left hand Uh, 
see there's a pattern in there that's in my mind now to get it in my head I, there's a pattern that my left hand has got it automatic there you've got this walking down then we've got this seventh chord then we walk down from a C down to the G then we go D G D G walk it down again now we got the D the A now walk down from the G and we end up with the A A D and your right hand Now that right hand is going to kind of fall into your memory anyway just because of the because you know the melody and to, then just then just put the hands together and go slowly enough so that they'll the hands will work together procedure on something like that is is slow it down until I can play it get it going slow enough to where you can play it without mistakes you can always speed it up so get it slowly get it to where you've got the hands working together because you're, you're doing different things with the hands and and it's going to take a little bit of time on that bridge section then we go into the second verse and I, I like to hold that back just a little bit on that pick changes because the, the it goes no crocodile the rhinoceroses I only want hippopotamuses and then you got to be ready and hippopotamuses like me do I only I, I think it's I only like hippopotamuses and hippopotamuses like me too and then you've got to be ready to go with that trumpet fanfare so you've got B and D C and E D and F sharp. So we go up to this octave to get that trumpet sound. Then you come back down for her with the melody. That's the line that says, Mama says a hippo will meet me up again. And teacher says the hippo is a vegetarian. So, so that's your rhythm there, once you get those words in your mind. And you want to play that last line with a little bit of a f affirmation because you're, you're quoting the teacher there, no, the hippo's a vegetarian. And then you go right back into the trumpet. So you come, vegetarian. And you can hold that back, but you've got a bass line going. Now this gets tricky too. So if you have to hold that back, you can hold it back right there. Uh, now let's get into that, uh, uh, let's go back into the second verse and go on into that trumpet fanfare so you can see how it'll fit through. to tell you you've got an A, E, C sharp, E, A. This time you're going to go, now if you just want to play an A, 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 D, C, B, so you, you can, but I, what I've got written there is A, E, C sharp, E, A, which is what their bass player plays right there. Now that's tricky too because her, her vocals go, um, no rhinoceros, hippopotamuses. So, and in the left hand, you've got to kind of 
go after that with a C right after that D. So let me slow that down for you so that you can see. And then you're going into her attack. And then we, then we go right on into the uh, trumpet. So up to tempo. trumpet there. Now they've got, they've actually got two trumpets. Most of it's a duet. I'm only doing the duet to, to imply the duet and then I go to a solo so that you don't have to play two notes all the way through. You got then a solo then I put the two notes in at the end so it sounds like we've played them all along. Do it again. It'll imply that we're playing the duet, but we're not playing all the duet parts. And then you go right back up. And this time you have a pickup that D, E, D. There's your double part again. There's a little thing here that, that is tricky coming out of her teacher says that is a vegetarian you've got so all I'm going to play is I'm going to go D C B G and that'll give you a time to get that D C B but you will have to work that out. is on that D. And you're going to have D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A. And then this is going to stay on E's. And then we just do that bridge section again, just the same as we did it before. play it again the second time there are no changes in it and then you've got the tag for the tag chorus the second verse reprise and a tag I slow it down just slightly and a little little more pronounced and we're back to no crocodiles no rhinoceroses hippopotamuses so we've got that I made it easier here because uh, because all we've got going on in the bass is just A, 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 D, D, A, D, G. It's a little bit easier, so if you want to do this same thing uh, before on that, that, right after that bridge, you can do the same thing. You don't have to go, you don't have to play that. But uh, but I've got what what they were playing what they have in their music there so it's kind of uh, the same thing they simplify it at the end. And I hold that just enough to let myself pause there. And then you go up and have a little playful trumpet 
trumpet in you. Now that's all, this is all right hand because the left hand is just going to go G, F sharp, E, D, A, A, G, G. So the left hand is going to, you're going to get the left hand quickly. To try to play something else in there to duplicate your right hand, but if you practice it a little bit, you'll get it. Now, your right hand is G, 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 D, D, E, E, B, B, and then I switch to my middle finger here because I'm going to do the triplets with A, index finger. I'm going to go A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, D, G. So I'm going to play both of those triplets are going to be with these three fingers. And if you can separate them, it'll sound better. Now I'll take it slowly so you can see it, and then I'll up to tempo. And what I do is I focus my my eyes on my right hand there, so that because so that I can make sure that I get that right hand because the left hand will take care of itself. So you can play the left hand with one finger right there. You're going to get it's make it's making it synchronized with the right hand. And actually, I play A and then I play G with these two fingers there. But the